Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If that is something that you are interested in, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You hit that notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further ado, you guys, let's jump into the video. Hi nurses! Isang panibagong nursing discussion nga ang alay ko sinyo for today. Another Wednesday of nursing discussion and welcome back to my channel. You guys have been really, 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 really supporting me. Ang daming really nun. Pero you guys are really awesome because um, my... Uh, from out from my previous upload from monday i think uh yeah you guys have been really there and commenting and just liking the video and i can see that you guys are sharing it and our subscriber counts to date is really growing and you have no idea how much you guys are making me feel so happy and i'm just so grateful that you've given me this trust now this is another entry natin sa atin cheat sheet playlist where i create short videos a short study material for all of you guys just so you can have like whenever you don't have the time to really study but still wanna you know learn something well this video is for you now, like you see on the title and on the screen, this is Common Drugs and Their Antidotes. Now, I created a couple of several videos regarding drug antidotes. Um, if you haven't checked that one out, I su highly suggest for you to check the playlists because not just drug antidotes, uh, um, it's not just drug antidotes that I put on the cheat sheet playlist, but a lot of uh, nursing contents and educational materials for you. So I'll be putting the playlist on playlist link on the description box or whenever the icon button pops out anytime on this video i highly suggest for you to check to click the one out because i'll be putting the actual playlist link there and also some of the playlists i have on nursing education now um before i further proceed i would just like to really grab this opportunity to thank you for uh always supporting my channel to those oldies subscribers who've been here with me since day one, thank you so much. You're the man. You're the girl. I mean, I could not thank you enough. To all new subscribers, maraming maraming salamat po. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the community. We've been really growing and you guys are really fantastic. You are amazing. I would just like to grab this opportunity to announce to everybody that I'll be launching my podcast channel. Yes, you heard it right. And it's going to be sometime this year, before the end of this year, or early next year. So, yeah, I keep on telling this, but this is really one of my goals um, to date. And I'm just so thrilled to share the news to all of you guys. Um, I still don't have the title of the, the podcast. It's probably going to be my name. I don't know. Um, but if you have any suggestions, I'm open to it. Um, but I just have two intentions, um, mainly just one main intention while I'm starting to create that podcast. And that is to increase awareness about mental health, talk about life, talk about soul, spirituality, um, to be grateful, um, talking about, um, life lessons, you know what I mean? And to really reach that highest and truest expression of yourself that is the clear intent and that's something that is very clear to me and i wish that you guys can support me don't worry because i'll be announcing the launch of my podcast and all my social media platforms uh that's going to be um it's going to be available in all the music uh platforms uh that we have spotify google music all of the all of those good stuff so don't worry because i'll be announcing it once it's 
the first ever episode is going to be published. And I wish that you guys is going to be there. I'll see you guys there. It's going to be a lot of fun because I love those topics are really close to my heart. Now, before we further proceed, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now because three times a week nga po akong nag-upload and you don't want to miss that one out. This coming Friday, you can expect um, another upload. Um, I haven't decided it yet, but if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment it down below because I am listening to you, you guys. All right. Now, uh, let's jump into the actual discussion. Now, common drugs and their antidotes. Why this is important for you to know? Well, because in an emergency setting, especially in a hospital setting, um, you wanna we're giving a lot of medications. And some of those medications can there's like toxicity level and you wanna respond to the urgency into the emergency situation immediately once you know the antidotes for a certain medication. So this is a one good way of enhancing and learning something and refreshing your knowledge when it comes to pharmacology. All right, so let's proceed. For this video, I'm going to have five drugs and their antidotes. So feel free to write them down. And if I haven't checked out the other uh, drug antidotes video I created, uh, Check them out because it's going to be in one playlist, the cheat sheet playlist. So let's proceed. All right, first drug. We have the antidote methylene blue. Again, that's methylene blue, which is the antidote or the indication for this medication is chemical producing severe methylmeglobinemia. Again, that's meth. I'm sorry, methemoglobinemia, uh, a fosamide induced encephalopathy. Again, let me read that back. Chemical producing severe methemoglobinemia, a fosamide induced encephalopathy. That is the indication of your methylene blue. Methylene blue. So, what's the mode of action? It reduces methemoglobin. To hemoglobin. Once again, that's methylene blue for a phosphamide induced encephalopathy. Next, you have your nal methine or naloxone. Nal methine or naloxone, which is the antidote for everybody. Opioid analgesics. Again, that's nalmephine, or as we all know, naloxone, an antidote for opioid analgesics. In terms of the mode of action, nurses, it prevents or reverses the effects of opioids, including respiratory depression, sedation, and hypotension. Opioids is contraindicated for patients who have, who, who are having respiratory, who is respiratory distress. Whenever your RR is, is decreased, you don't administer opioids. But whenever you have opioid intoxication, that's a time that you have to have or to administer naloxone as per doctor's order. All right. Next one, we have... Your naloxone or Narcon, the brand name, which is indicated for narcotics intoxication. In terms of mode of action, naloxone is believed to antagonize opioid effects by competing for the um, UK and opioid receptor sites in the CNS with the greatest affinity for the U receptor. All right, so narcotics, one good example of that is morphine, um, petidine, tramadol, those are the types of your narcotics. A high form of analgesics. You should always have naloxone in your area whenever you have these types of medication. 
because you never know when you will reach a certain level of toxicity. Naloxone is an antidote for narcotics. Next, you have your neostigmine. Again, that's neostigmine, which is an antidote for anticholinergics. Let's talk about the mode of action. Anticholinesterase, which causes accumulation of acetylcholine at cholinergic receptor sites. Once again, that's neostigmine, indicated for anticholinergics. Now, our last drug for today is nitrate, sodium, and glyceritinitrate. Uh, Let me say that one more time. Last one for this video is nitrate, sodium, and glyceritinitrate. Uh, that's a mouthful drug. Nitrate or sodium and glyceritrinitrate, which is indicated for what? Cyanide intoxication. For the mode of action, it oxidize hemog oxidizes hemoglobin to methemoglobin, which binds the free cyanide and can enhance endothelial cyanide detoxification by producing v v uh, vasodilation. Again, that's nitrate, sodium, and glyceritrinitrate, indicated for cyanide poisoning. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel for my nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Also, don't forget to um, follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave, except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. I would also like to invite you to please like, share, and follow me on my Facebook page. It's Neil Gave. And uh, I'll see you again on Friday for another uh, nursing discussion. Tulungan nyo na nga po ko'y pamalitan nyo na sa Radyong Sira ang pinakabago, pinakafresh at ang pinakalibreng Nursing Review Center sa balat ng YouTube. And I'll see you again next, I mean this Friday. Have a good one.